Welcome to your Daily Five for Wednesday, July 26th, 2023. Now, ordinarily, if you've listened for a while, you know that I generally say that whatever makes you happy, go ahead and go with that. That if you like movies that other people don't, good for you. That if you want to buy something or you value something, then it's valuable and you should buy it and it should make you happy. And I'm generally pretty universal on that. I don't tell people that they shouldn't do certain. There's a very small selection of things that I say that most people shouldn't do. Pre-ordering video games or frankly anything on, on basis on the basis of a promise of something coming later is a pretty that one I've repeated a bunch of times I stand by that but otherwise I generally say okay well if somebody wants that thing then somebody wants that thing and it's fine but I saw an announcement for something that I'm going to advise I mean I doubt most people listening to this show would do it anyway but if you're considering it I'm going to advise you not to which is to buy the empty steel book of the WandaVision streaming series from Marvel now I've seen some back and forth on whether this is an official Marvel Studios product or not, but it has to at least be okayed by Marvel because I'm pretty sure they're not going to let people sell things with all the imagery and logos and marketing materials from WandaVision on it. So if Marvel's not making this directly, they're at least signing off on it. And this is literally exactly as I described it. If you were to just look at it and not read in through the article, you would think that what you were buying was a steelbook physical release of the WandaVision series. But in fact, you're not buying that. What you're buying is a steelbook with some postcards in it and some artwork and a couple other things. Maybe I think one of them has a lenticular cover, but there's no streaming. There's there's nothing inside it. There's no physical version of the streaming series. There's not even confirmed to be a digital code to download it. So as it stands as of now, I mean, this could have changed five minutes before I posted this. It's possible, but I'm linking to the original release I saw. And I saw this referenced in two different ones that both said that at at the point that these were published... There is no indication that you get anything with these steelbooks except the steelbooks themselves and some artwork on some uh, paper, you know, physical paper. That's the physical thing you're getting. But there's no series in here. And as far as anybody can tell, you can't even get a download code to get a local copy of it. So what you're doing is you're buying something to go on a shelf that has nothing to it. Now, look. Collectors will buy whatever they're going to buy. And that part of it, I don't really necessarily care so much about. If you actually think this is a neat steel book, that's fine. I'm not judging the collector, the collectible nature of the item itself, but it's a terrible thing to support because essentially you are literally buying nothing except the steel book. And if this sells well, what it will signal is that people don't need a physical release, that they're willing to buy a literal empty shell. And I would say that's probably pretty bad because what we should be advocating for and look at the strike and everything going on. Look at what Disney's done with some of their series where they've removed them from streaming. They're not the only ones. A lot of them are doing it. This is exactly why we should be supporting the opposite of this. We should be clamoring for and supporting physical media releases because and to the people who don't like changes that are made to things or feel like, you know, there's alterations and agendas and they're changing stuff that we grew up on. Even more so a reason, have a physical release of something. So if you feel like they're monkeying around with what you like and they're changing things, like when Spielberg did the thing with the guns in E.T., well, if you had an original copy of E.T., now I don't know if there was a Blu-ray or a 4K at that point, but you still would have had something. As many people still, there's widely circulated copies of Star Wars before even the THX alterations that many people like myself have pulled down and keep copies of because it's the unaltered Star Wars. So that, you know, at least you have something to fall back on. Buying something like this tells these companies it is okay to have a piece of media that doesn't actually exist in any definitive form. And I think that's a bad message to support and it's a bad message to send. So I'm just saying, and again, I doubt most people listening to this would even consider buying this thing if it doesn't change. If there's a download code inside of it, okay, because then you can burn your own physical media and store it there. That's a different thing. But as of right now, there is no evidence whatsoever from what I can see that there is anything in these steelbooks other than postcards and like collectible art, which is fine in and of itself, but buying this thing will say that people are willing to support non-physical media. And I think that is a, I don't think that's something we should be supporting. I guarantee you'll find these later. If this changes, that's fine. But if it doesn't, do not buy this stuff. I mean, I, it, this is baffling that they would even sell it for the prices that they're selling it. But I'm, I'm saying, a rare case of me saying, don't buy this. This is a bad thing. Don't buy it. Later.